In today's video, I'm going to show you how to aggregate and sort your data for your charts here in Google Sheets. I've already shown you how to aggregate your data with the use of the query function and also another video of how to aggregate your data within your chart editor for your charts. Now, in one of those videos, somebody commented if it's possible to sort your data within your charts or maybe what they meant would be if you can sort your data with a chart editor. After you've aggregated your data, then maybe you can sort it. Now that's not really possible with the chart editor or after you've turned your data into a chart. What you can do is to have that data aggregated and sorted first, then turn it into a chart. So if you do that, your data would actually look like this. So I've used that method. I've aggregated and sorted my data first, then turn it into this chart. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos on how to aggregate your data with your chart editor, then I'll be leaving a card at the top right corner. And also, if you haven't seen my other video on how to aggregate your data with a query function, I'll also be leaving a card at the top right corner Again, please do check out those videos. It will really help with this channel. So let's get started. So our goal here would be to, again, aggregate this by product purchase, where we have the total quantity for each of these products right here. So let's start with the query function. There we have it. Type it in or select it right there. Select our data, which would be this entire part right here. Now I'm not including the headers because this will get in the way when we try and sort our data later. So I'm going to select my data without the headers, comma, and our query would be always start with your quotation marks. Type in select, that's going to be column C, where our product purchase is, comma, and here is our aggregate function, which is the sum function, and we're trying to sum the quantity, which is the D column, and have it grouped by again our column c which is our product purchase so if i press enter right here this is what it's going to look like so it still has that header right here which is our sum but that's okay so we already have our aggregated data where all of the totals for each of the products grouped together are joined are summed right here on the second column now to sort this and have it in ascending or descending order that's totally up to you. We are going to put in the sort function right here before query function. There we go. Close that off and comma. And we are sorting this by our quantity. So that's our second column and one for ascending order and zero for descending order. We're just going to go for the ascending order. You can put in a true or a one right here. It's totally up to you. Press enter. And here we have it. We have aggregated our data first, then sorted it to have this in ascending order. So that when we do try and insert our chart, let's go ahead and do that. Select this data right here. We don't need anything else. Go to insert, select chart, and there we have it. So now we have our data in ascending order where the least amount of products in our data is listed first, then the second, third, and fourth. Now you can arrange this in descending or ascending order within the formula, or you can just go to customize right here in your chart editor, go to horizontal axis and select reverse axis order. And there you have it. So either way, if you want it in ascending, descending with this one click, you can definitely do that. Now if you don't want these part to be seen, you can just put your chart on top of it. That is not a big deal. And now we can just edit our chart to how we want it to look. You can rename the chart name. So we're just going to go to the series, go to the bottom and add your data labels. And you can edit how these labels would look like. Then you can also change the color of your columns. Again, this is totally up to you on how you want your chart to look like. And there you have it. So that's how easy it is to aggregate and sort your data for your charts here in Google Slides. Thanks for watching.
If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one!